Bangladesh's journey as a developing country will begin from 2026, have to face new challenges, said Prime Minister. BNP is suffering from depression, said Hassan Mahmoud. Democracy will return soon, said Moin Khan. EC announced the schedule of 233 local elections, including Maiman Singh and Kumilla City Corporation elections. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ashiku Zaman. Welcome you to My TV English News. You are watching the headlines. Now, the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that Bangladesh's journey as a developing country will begin from 2026, so preparations must be made now to face the new challenges. She urged to look into the issues of effectiveness and benefit of people in the new pl project planning. She said this in the planning commission meeting under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The meeting was attended by alternate chairperson of the commission, Finance Minister Abul Hassan Mahmud Ali, Vice Chairperson Planning Minister Abdus Salam, Planning Commission members and Governor Abdul Rauf Talukdar. European Union President Charles Michel has congratulated Sheikh Hasina for winning the 12th national parliament elections and being re-elected as Prime Minister. Charles Michel congratulated the Prime Minister in a congratulatory message from Brussels on Tuesday. In his congratulatory message, the President said that the EU is reliable and long-term partner of Bangladesh. The EU is committed to continuing to work with Bangladesh on the issues including sustainable development, climate change and migration. Earlier, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida congratulated Sheikh Hasina for being elected Prime Minister of Bangladesh for the fifth time. Today is January 24, Gono Obhuthan Dibosh. In 1969, mass uprising is a historical context in the long history of Bengali freedom struggle. The Central Steering Struggle Council was formed on January 4, 1969, and the 11-point demand was announced on the path of progressive struggle by holding the ideology of six-point mass movement based on the Charter of Liberation of Bengalis declared by Father of the Nation. Awami League paid tribute to the memorial of Shahid Matiur Rahman at Nabhukumar Institute premises in, Bush, in Bakshi Bazar of the capital on the occasion of the historic People's Uprising Day. Later, Foreign Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud said BNP is suffering from depression without participating in the elections. Dr. Abdul Moin Khan, the member of the Standing Committee of BNP, said the party is working to bring back democracy and voting rights of the people. He said this after paying respects at the grave of BNP chairperson Khalid Aziz's youngest son, Arafat Rahman Koko at Koko at Bonani in the morning. Commenting that the politics of revenge will be removed from Bangladesh, Moin Khan said that the democracy for which Bangladesh was created will return. The acting chairman of BNP and convicted Tariq Rahman will be brought back to the country at the appropriate time and the current government will execute his sentence, said Foreign Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud. He said this to the reporters after meeting with the British High Commissioner Sarah Cook at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs this afternoon. Regarding the meeting of Sarah Cook, the minister said that climate change, migration, Rohingya crisis and other issues will be worked with the United Kingdom kingdom in the future. The foreign minister also said that Dhaka will work with the United Kingdom on human rights in the coming days. The Election Commission has announced the schedule of 233 election including Kumilla City Corporation by-elections, general elections in Maimon Singh City Corporation and some unions and wards including nine municipalities. 
Voting in these elections will be held on March 9. Election Commission Secretary Jahangir Alam gave this information in a press briefing in the morning. Jahangir Alam said February 13 is the last day to submit nomination papers to the returning officers of these 233 elections. Appeals of rejected candidates from the returning officer will be disposed on February 19 and 20th. Last date for withdrawal of candidature is 22nd February. Allotment of symbols is on 23rd February. Indian Border Guard Force BSF have returned the body of BGB member Muhammad Rashiduddin who was killed in BSF firing at Jashore's Sheikhpur border. At around 11.30 a.m., the BSF handed over the body of the deceased Rashiduddin to Lieutenant Colonel Ahmed Hassan Jamil, the commander of 49 Battalion of BGB at Shekharpur border in Sharsha of Jasur. The body was taken to Jashur's 250-bed Shadur Hospital morgue for post-mortem. The BGB soldier was killed in BSF firing while chasing cow smugglers in the border of Benapol in the early hours of Monday, January 22nd. 43 districts of the country are shivering with mild to moderate cold current. According to the Met Office, such conditions may continue for two to three days more. Dhaka, Khulna, Barishal and Chittagong divisions may experience rain today. Meanwhile, the entire Dhaka city has been covered in heavy fog since early morning. Cars moving in capital are running with headlights on. However, despite fog, the severity of winter in Dhaka was felt a little less than other days. Today, the country's lowest temperature is 8.4 degrees Celsius in Tetulia. We're about to the end the headlines once again. Bangladesh's journey as a developing country will begin from 2026. Have to face new challenges, said Prime Minister. BNP is suffering from depression, said Hassan Mahmoud. Democracy will return soon, said Moin Khan. SC announced the schedule of 233 local elections, including Maimon Singh and Kumilla City Corporation elections. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old programs, please go through YouTube slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.